investigate how temperature affects respiration. In this experiment, we will use yeast as the respiring organism. Yeast respires using glucose. We will expose yeast and glucose to various temperatures and see does the rate of respiration change. Yeast produces carbon dioxide during respiration. We will compare the amount of CO2 produced at different temperatures. 10 grams of glucose is added to a beaker. Water is added to make the solution up to 100 milliliters. The solution is well stirred. This is a 10% glucose solution. One gram of yeast is added into each test tube. glucose solution is added to each test tube. They are stirred using a glass bottle. They are stirred using a glass rod. The level of liquid in each test tube is marked using a marker. The level of liquid in each test tube is marked using a marker. The test tubes are placed in water baths at different temperatures. The test tubes are placed in water baths at different temperatures. Ten degrees Celsius. Ten degrees Celsius. Twenty degrees Celsius. Thirty degrees Celsius. Forty degrees Celsius. Celsius. Leave the test tubes to stand for six to eight minutes. Leave the test tubes to stand for six to eight minutes. After six to eight minutes has passed, the depth of After foam produced by the yeast in each test tube is measured using a ruler and recorded. Ten degrees Celsius. Ten degrees Celsius. Twenty degrees Celsius. Twenty degrees Celsius. Thirty degrees Celsius. Thirty degrees Celsius. Forty degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius. Using the table in your laboratory notebook, fill in your own results from when you do the experiment yourself. A bar chart of the results could also be drawn. A bar chart of the results could also be drawn.